Hello everyone, this is Sithspawn, and welcome back to episode 19 of my Roma Structum 2.5 Pontus campaign. And it was a little bit longer between episodes than I wanted, I know I said I had hoped it'd be sooner, and it didn't really end up to be much sooner, but hey. Uh, I have a couple days off and realized I hadn't recorded or posted in about a week, so I'm going to try to get a couple episodes done for us today. And yeah, hopefully I'll have a few of those up and maybe have a buffer a couple episodes in case I go a little bit of a stretch without posting again. So, enough of me rambling. Let's get started here. Looks like we have a rebel army. No, never mind. We can still see from this. I thought a rebel army might have captured that, but it looks like it's just the, the hills blocking that line of sight there. Anyways, we just finished kicking the Ptolemies out of Asia Minor, and now I think we, I don't think we have a border with them at the moment. So I'm really hoping they will go back toward the Seleucids and take a little pressure off. And I'm actually, I was thinking about it, and I might even let the Armenians take this, as it's not really defensible. Just hold here, which is where our money making is anyways. This shows more, but I really don't think it's actually going to be any more productive than these territories at all. Um, and this will give another border with the Seleucids to Armenia, maybe driving them into war against each other. So just anything to kind of keep the heat off this flank force will work nicely. And obviously, if they come any closer to Antioch, say, or Laodicea, I'll be able to take care of them, no problem. I just don't want to have to stretch my defenses thin constantly or pay what I actually have to pay to support a really good field army down here. I just don't have the money for that right now. And if we can take out Pergamon here, we will actually have basically all of Asia Minor. And Pergamon is another cash cow. And we will just be rolling in the money once we kind of take all of Asia Minor and develop it just a little bit. So I think Pergamon is going to be our next goal. Now we're not going to just jump straight into this war unless they attack us. Because we need to really be ready for this. They're going to probably put up a little bit stouter resistance than the Ptolemies as this is their territory. Not just some little sliver outside of their mainland like it was for the Ptolemies. So they will likely have quite a few troops here. We might be dealing with a couple emergency armies during the course of this. So I want a minimum of two fully trained armies with some backup troops probably before I even worry about starting the attack. Now, I could try to be sneaky and just wait for their cities to be lightly garrisoned, have a couple spies throughout here. Just leave some armies on the border and um, sneak in with like catapults and steal the cities out from under them. We'd still have to deal with some emergency stacks that way. But we could avoid some pitch field battles, which I, I love fighting field battles and everything. But with how far this is away from our troop training centers, we may need to uh, minimize that if possible. Though really, I guess... Um, Fighting the fighting the garrison army in cities is probably going to be a little bloodier, so that's that's still preferable to fighting in the city if they have a large defensive force. But best best option would be to just steal the city out from under them, like with Tavion here. That would be perfect, assuming they don't have any other forces nearby. And even if they did, we could get someone who could do a night battle and sneak in. That way, they can't help out. Hopefully, but um. Still kind of just blathering here, but it looks like with both my armies are here. This one's still in decent shape. It's not full like I'd like it, but it's a decent shape where it can fight, but this one is pretty thrashed. So this is definitely going to need to be retrained. I m believe I looked at mercenaries at the very end of the last video, and there are, yeah, there are some available. I'll just need to wait for a little more, a little more cash next turn. And do I have any local troops I can train here? I do. That'll probably be a good bit cheaper. So let's go ahead and just recruit. Wow, I really don't even have enough money for two of them. Oh, well, that's something. And I can go ahead and get two units of Rodian Slingers here as well. And that'll be at least a starting garrison. Just enough to keep it from revolting, hopefully, when I leave. And we'll go ahead and 
give this army back to retrain. I'm kind of tempted just to leave that other one there and just use it as it is once we start our offensive. Because I really don't want to leave our new territories completely undefended. So I think that's going to be our strategy. We're going to retrain. Probably leave this army, <gasps> Heracles' army, somewhere in the area here and bring Dionysus or whoever we have leading it and uh, sneak through Tavian and then maybe see if we can't sneak another one of these two cities a couple cities before they uh, start attacking us. They haven't taken Sardis and it looks to have become quite the uh, haven for the free peoples unfortunately. So I think we're gonna leave this for sure until we've taken out Pergamon and we'll just be able to focus on taking these armies out one at a time and eventually just take Sardis that way. But right now it looks like since the uh, free peoples got cut down in territories, this is just one of the places where they're pumping out troops because they have the money. Unfortunately for us. Now yeah, we are still neutral, so let's go ahead and end the turn. And then next turn we will start sending that army back to uh, Amasia or wherever to be retrained. We've got a Greek city-states guy trying to bribe Amasia. Good luck. I really wish we had Amasia making more money for us, but hey, whatever. Uh, Trapezus is now an economic region for us. Let's go ahead and close that here. Antioch, I built a couple Acontistae. I wonder if that was just for the army or if I was going to use that for a fort. I can't remember. Carthage is at War Throne. Parthia with the Seleucids, great. It's one more war for the Seleucids. That is exactly what I want to happen. Just going to leave that for the moment. Go ahead and take this army out. You go in. And you guys go in. And we'll go ahead and build another levy pikeman there. And I need to make them happy quickly. Holy crap, it's growing very fast. That is not good because I'm already struggling to keep up, so I'm probably going to kill this. Hopefully we'll be able to hold on to it. Okay, they're extremely unhappy about that for the moment. I have to switch that around. We might just have to uh, set our general in there or something to have him keep control until we can get this back down. I should have killed that the first turn we got it, but uh, I guess this wasn't really much much later. Jeez. But the the reason that caused such a um, a hit to our public orders because that gives a huge huge um population growth bonus I don't remember what it's called but um that is all gone now so they're not very happy with us right now we're just gonna have to build anything we can once we um get rid of the starting on... oh, it doesn't even have much unrest. It's got a cultural penalty which is bad for us. Mm. So we might just have to kill some buildings? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and kill that. It's tough because a lot of what we want to kill to get rid of that cultural penalty gives us a uh, public order boost which is definitely something we need. Do I have any wine in this region? I don't think so. So we're gonna go ahead and kill that. That'll lower the money it gets a little bit. I don't know, it actually somehow increased its profitability. So that's another building gone. I really don't want to kill that. I mean we, we can just improve that instead of killing it and it'll replace it with a better one. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and see what this will do. Holy moly, he doesn't help at all? Is he that hated? I mean, he is a fantastic leader, so he just must be absolutely despised. He's a punisher, so that doesn't help. He's... well, bloody doesn't make a difference. Disloyal does not help at all. How in the world did he get this? Wow. Anyways, he, he's so... He has such bad traits that it's actually completely negating any kind of bonus he'd get from 9 influence. Plus any positive traits he has. That's crazy. So no point in leaving him in the city then. It's not going to help worth a damn. Will leaving him here help? Yes, it will. Okay, we can always get a new general for that army if we need to, but we need him to keep order here. So, we're just going to go ahead and start sending this army back without him. They're not going to move very fast because it's darn catapult. I mean, probably won't end up taking another more than another turn, but uh, we'll see. You just go ahead and jump in here really quickly, dude. Make it hard of a bribe. Not that I think anyone would, but can't hurt to be careful. Alright, now we still haven't built anything. I'm going kind of slow here. Just kind of getting back into the swing of it. Start in Amasia. And... We could build the next tax building, which is almost all our money. We could give them highways. I really want to work on their income here. We're going to... The dockyard would be expensive too, but I'd like it. A lot I could do here. <laughs> decisions, decisions. That gets crap mining income, so that's not even worth the money. Alright, we're going to go ahead and build this here. Maybe. Does it give us any boost? No. Why not? Is this? Some. More than we're losing, but once again, that's all our income, basically. Highways? Yeah, let's just build highways. Damn. Uh, let's go to our new places. Are they all building? Side is not. Side. What do you need? A lot of stuff. Get some roads. Tarsus. Not super happy. Still. Give me a regional focus. That's basically all our cash again. Okay. What was I sending all these troops down here for? I'm kind of at a loss. <clears throat> I mean, I'm guessing they were going to be garrison. Oh wow, our many just left. So we're not even going to have to sacrifice this city yet. Hmm. Well, let's just send them down here. And... Whatever, I don't know that I need these guys right now. We're just going to disband them. Pretty sure I just built them, so it's kind of silly, but whatever. Alright, and... We still need a governor for Hierapolis. Probably just get a general so we're not worried about losing a family member, but we might just have to go ahead and train one here. 
as I don't see any sitting around to be used. Yep, so next turn we'll train a general there and when he's done we'll send him to Hierapolis to hold that for us, increase his income a little bit hopefully. But let's go ahead and end our turn. Hmm, unless we get attacked, this may end up being another episode with either one battle towards the end or no battle, just because it's going to be a few turns to uh, retrain our guys and get them back into action. But um, hopefully we'll get something for you. Maybe kill some rebels on the way there at least. Like, I don't think we're going to fight this deck, but the next one we'll probably go ahead and actually fight on the battlefield because it's a few more units. Hit that way. Alright, still making decent cash. Decent compared to what we were making at least. It'd be nice to have roads as well. We are at war with them. But another time. We need to limit our conflicts at once. Change into medium, it's good enough, and we want to slow the growth down a little bit. And go ahead and give them government its termination. You're already building. How are you, Heraclea? You're pretty happy. Do we want to give you anything this turn? Is there anything I can do to increase my money some places? Let's give you a shipwright. All my cash again, but... Does anyone desperately need the money? No one that's not already building. Okay. Huh. They are not happy. But they're going to stop growing here fairly shortly for us, so we'll be able to catch up with that. No problem. Alrighty. Um, do I need to do anything with my diplomat? How old is he? 49. He's still got some time in him unless he gets bribed. I think I might send him up by one of the cities just to keep an eye on it here for us since we don't have another spy handy. We'll just park him right here. And we'll go ahead and end the turn again. Okay, now, he's got about five units, and I'd like to take him out on the way, because he's just going to hang around in my area, but is he worth fighting on the campaign map? Oh, well, you know what? Now he's Pergamon's problem. He's in their territory. If he comes back, I'll take care of him, but I just want to get these guys retrained. Retrain him. Is he a new guy? Yeah, he is. We got a new family member. Perseus of Dia. And he doesn't look terrible. It's a free bleeder. That's not fantastic. But it's not the worst either. Imposter, huh? Okay. That's why they're unhappy. We made this a, um, a client region. Or, um... A what is it? An autonomous city, and he is a family member. So basically, setting one of our nobility directly up and, and as a ruler in a autonomous city, they're not going to be happy about that. So what we need to do is we're actually going to build a settlement here. Or can I do that anywhere? I think we just need a a, um, a general period. We're still going to go ahead and build that there, but what we need to do is we need to go over here, train a general, and send him there. And since he's not of our family line, he'll be able to set himself up as like a client king or client ruler or whatever for us, and they won't be pissed at us. 
Now, the only thing I'm not sure of is he might need to be trained there, in which case we'll need to keep building that uh, barracks level until we can, but it doesn't hurt to try it. We can always use more generals. Okay, we were going to build one for Her Heropolis as well. Let's go ahead and train one up here in Antioch. Speaking of, Antioch can... Oh, we're going to move him down to medium taxes. He's not growing at that point, so we're actually going to keep him at low, I think. Uh, loses about a thousand gold. But all we need to do for that is just start increasing the population. He's at the point where he's going to... Yeah, he's he's topped out on Squalor. So we can just keep making that city bigger and bigger with no more public order hits. And that's just more tax money for us, so we will do that. Alrighty. Oh, Carnassus got roads. They're building the first aid center. And we'll add that to their queue just because that's another cheap 5% public order increase there with happiness. Pergamon seems to still just be kind of chilling here, which is perfect. I'd love it if they started taking out some of these rebels of Sardis for us. Make our lives easier in the end. Yes, my lord. Nicomedes still pretty heavily garrisoned. Whenever they decide to attack someone, they're gonna have a crap ton of troops just waiting. So this will be this will be interesting for us. Be a bit more of a challenge than our other campaigns. This uh, our military campaigns as far as this actual playthrough goes. Alrighty, I think we're just going to... Well, we have a little bit more money to spend than one on the turn here. But, can I build more at Apamea? I already am, that's right. I don't think anywhere else is particularly furious at me, so we're just going to keep working on increasing our income where possible. <sighs> we will do that just because I don't want to get the plague, even though it's not directly income increasing. Let's go to Trapezus. I may have spent a little too much money to build much elsewhere, but we might just go ahead and increase the garrison here a little bit because God knows it could use it. Let's just make... Oh, I don't want anything too expensive. We'll make two of them and send them over just so we have some light infantry for the walls if we need it at worst. And... Let's go ahead and end the turn again. <clears throat> the Greeks are still trying to bribe Amasia. <laughs> Apparently it's losing population for whatever reason. That is... must have been some trait he got. Yeah, probably the poor bureaucratic skill. I'm guessing he just got that. Which sucks, because that's decreasing our income. Oh, yay. Trapezus needs to grow, oh, and it's ungodly expensive. So, we're not going to be spending anything unnecessary this turn. And actually, we are going to increase this to slow its growth down in the meantime. And the only money I'm going to spend is on retraining here. I don't want to waste any on building because we need to upgrade that as soon as possible. So you can send our allied phalangites to Mazika. As well as these guys I'm fairly certain. So let's see. That's all you can do there this turn. Perfect. The rest of you guys should be just fine in Amasia anyways. Can you make a catapult? You can. Perfect. Alright. Head up there, guys. And we'll send the rest of my garrison onto the bridge, per usual. And retrain these guys. Alrighty. 
and we're going to hold on to our money. We're still probably not going to have enough next turn. But, uh, oh, whoa. There's no way I'm only going to be making 4000 I don't buy that. Unless... Wait, nope, that's the problem. You leave now. Holy F, what in the world? You leave. There we go. Now we're making money again. Okay. <sighs> it's the only bad thing about having your academy in your capital city is anyone that ends up getting higher management takes away your, uh, your governor's spot. Okay. Well, screw it. Let's go and end the turn again. Speeding through turns here, but not much going on. <clears throat> Oh, the Seleucids are saying hello. We might have to say hello back and actually get our battle. <clears throat> what just happened there? Apparently, one of our generals is deciding that it's much more fun to just sit outside the city than go inside. But we should be able to get some men with us here. And apparently I should have killed those rebels when I had the chance. Why are you not inside the city? That makes no sense. It wasn't full at any point here. Unless he was sitting there for a while and I just didn't notice him. Well. Damn guys, let's fight. Hopefully we'll be able to get our reinforcements from the city and take them out. Worst come to worst, we'll probably just retreat back into the city. Assuming he's smart enough to retreat into it, considering he's next to it. Alright, we're going to go way back as far as we can to buy us some time and start. And if we actually somehow manage to win this, we are amazing because I have no heavy infantry of any sort. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my gosh, they take so long to just get their butts in the battlefield. Alrighty, they have a lot of light troops, good. Unfortunately, they also have some heavy cavalry and heavy spearmen. They are going to be the problem. If we can save our javelins for them and somehow manage to flank them with our general, we have a chance. But we're going to have to use our archers to basically annihilate these first three units if we want to have any chance in this battle. And I said freaking run, guys. Run, 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 run. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to have to move up to about here. And just go ahead and run. We need to get in position as quick as possible. I'm not going to be able to really use this hill to my advantage very well because of how far... I said run! Because of how far away they are. But we'll have to do what we can. We could just retreat out of this, but I kind of want to see what we can do. I mean, at worst, we'll weaken them, decide it's no... 
you know, a possible win and then retreat. And if we have to sacrifice a unit to uh, buy us some time to do that, we will. Okay, let's start working on these Celtic Light Swordsmen here. Oh crap, and that cavalry is missile cavalry too. So they could be a real problem unless they charge in at us. We might have to switch our arrows over to them fairly shortly. But first let's see if we can just slaughter these guys enough that we can take them. Well, I'd love to kill them before they get to us, but I kind of doubt that's going to happen. <clears throat> Still, we've got over 20 men down already. I think about 30-ish. We're going to have to start dealing with these slingers here pretty soon. But really, I mean, I'm not too worried about them. If we can just get their infantry contingent whittled down, we'll be in decent shape. Got our general ready to act here. Alright, we need to pull back here. We need to keep our archers intact. I said pull back! Come on, come on, come on. Okay, you attack there. Attack. Fuck. Crap, guys. That could have gone better. Alright, we need to go ahead and get a flank here. Let's go ahead and charge in there. Start targeting these guys again. Okay, we are doing damage against this cavalry here. <clears throat> Hopefully our general doesn't die or this whole battle is going to be screwed. Let's try to get these archers around the flank here. I can't even worry about these slingers right now. Crap, 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 crap. Why would you rout? We had that, you idiot. Okay. Flaming arrows right there, right now. Do it. Quick. We need him to rout immediately. Or this battle's over. Come on. Come on. Shit. Okay, get out of there. Alright, we got their freaking cavalry out of the picture. If we can get down here quickly, we might have some kind of chance in hell. Shit, no we don't. Not with those heavy spearmen and all our javelins tied up. Let's go ahead and get our general out of here just in case. He's not going to do any more good here. I really don't want him to die. Let's send him over this way. Your general's nerve is broken and he is fleeing from the enemy. Damn these archers. If I had any kind of light cavalry unit left, I could just chase their asses down. They're probably going to rout my guys with their fire arrows, though. Just charging there, guys. No have time to wait. Ow. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we're gonna just get slaughtered with those archers there. So you guys... Quickly... Okay, no, we won. Good, 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 good. Get over here now.
Come this way. This way. This way. Come on, come on, come on. Just get a volley off and then run. Run, 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 run. This way, this way, this way. Come on, come on. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Run, run. No way. They lose one guy in route. They'll come back. They'll come back. Just get some javelins in their backs. Wait, no, 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 no. They're facing us. Don't throw. We need to get javelins in their backs, not in their fronts. Their shields will kill them. Okay, don't turn towards me. Don't turn towards me. Just keep going for those archers. Good. Right here. Quick. Quickly, quick, quick, quick. And throw. You guys, stop freaking routing. There's 63 of you. He killed one guy and you just broke. Come on, come on. Toss. <clears throat> Loose those javelins, come on! Why aren't you throwing? Okay, kill these guys. Oh yay, they, they ran away completely. Good job. Get one quick volley on these guys and route them if we can. Okay, run up here. Alright, just go ahead and withdraw. Well, if we had had like one solid unit of heavy infantry, we probably would have won that. But we just didn't have anyone to hold the line while we could flank, so... It's what it was. We, we gave as good as we got, it looks like, plus a little more. But the important thing is our general and some of our army at least should be alive inside that city after this. There's not really anywhere else for them to retreat to. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, that was a fun little bloody battle, I guess. So it's not the norm, but hey, it was something. Macedon and Romer at war, fine. Okay, let's finish up the retraining over here. Honestly, those don't even need to be retrained. We could move out this turn. That's just one guy for that unit and one guy for that unit. So, let's just go ahead and reconstitute the army here. When I say here, I mean over here. Gosh, I am fairly nervous about attacking Pergamon. But they have so many light troops here that I think we can take care of it all right. We'll see. Just group up over here. Get the general there. Barakatai. Light units. Cavalry and catapult. Got it. Still don't have enough for that damn building by a decent amount. Doesn't help that I'm getting blockaded here and have no fleet to retaliate with. Let's see, there shouldn't be enough to make a difference. I'm just going to make a small little fleet here, just enough to protect my ports. Alrighty. You guys back in Amasia. Alrighty. I'm going to make a quick save here, guys. And I don't know exactly how long I've even been recording. But we'll go ahead and end the turn here and see what happens, if anything. 
<clears throat> More Greeks trying to bribe me. How are you on that side of the fort? That's interesting. Like, you have to really go out of your way there. You'd have to go... Well, I don't even know where you came from. Maybe, oh, uh, right here. I missed one. Oh, I missed a spot. Or he died or something. Alright, well, first things first. Let's build that. It's a horse archer unit too, so sallying out would be pretty useless. <coughs> I'm going to learn my lesson and go ahead and at least get a unit of uh, Levy Pikemen over here. Let's go over to Apamea. Can't even retrain those guys here. Yeah, I think one thing that could be hurting our economy is we probably have very little overseas trade going on outside of our own cities just because we're at war with all our neighbors, really. Is that Parthia? On the mini-map there? What? That must have just revolted the Parthia if that's theirs. I've never seen them come up that direction. Well, that'll be interesting. Huh. Count me as surprised. Let's see. Don't have a spy over here, unfortunately. So let's... Can build a watchtower and see if I can get that to reveal what's going on. I have enough cash, let's try it. Well, it looks like we should be able to take it if we attack it. Question is, do we want to do it this turn? What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move him onto this river crossing here. That will give us a pretty good advantage against them if they try to attack there. They could always go over here, but it's through rebel territory, so if we're lucky, they won't. Not that I'm really thrilled about trusting to luck, but we don't really have a lot of choice right now. What's What agent do we have here? Just a spy? We do. Okay. We've got a bit of an army right there. Very cavalry heavy. Seven units of cavalry. And mainly light infantry besides. Okay. Just curious. Let's go ahead and do it. We were going to do it eventually anyways, and we don't really have the money to make another army beforehand, so let's just jump right in. And what happens, happens. Yes, we do. There went yet another neighbor that we can now no longer trade with, but hopefully once we own all their cities, it will not matter. I'm going to fight this on the campaign map. I'll skip around to shorten it up so we can fit in this video, but I will see you guys on the battle map. Alright, I'm just going to start this battle up. Start battering that ram down. Get some shots on him really quickly. I'm actually going to move our archers up a tiny bit so they're not downhill. <clears throat> Give them a little bit of better angle of fire there, do some more damage. And one more volley and yeah, that gate will be down, no problem. Sorry about that there, guys. Had to pause for just a second here. <clears throat> Let's get another opening or two in before we press all the way. But this should be a pretty simple battle here. Oh, 
us today. The walls are broken. One more right there, and we'll just push in. Nice, we've got quite a few casualties on those Macafoyroy there. <laughs> They're even going to Studo, that's hilarious. Well, hey. Ah, uh, whatever. We don't we don't need to mess with that. <laughs> we could just to be funny. I think it'd be pretty hilarious to just smash their testudo with the catapult, but hey. Alright, I'll get back to you when something happens here, guys. Alright, well, I'm pushing in, and they decided that they wanted to come say hello. So let's go ahead and crush them really quickly. And then I'll probably just come back when we get to the city square, or... You know what? I might just stay here. It's just going to be a straight march in. We'll flank a little bit with some light cavalry, but it's not going to be much to it. <clears throat> These guys are going to route pretty quickly getting smacked from all sides. Yep, already routed there. So let's just go ahead and continue and advance our Thrakatai here. I don't even think we need to bring in more than these four infantry and a couple couple flanking units. So let's just continue sending them sending them around the flank here. And we'll just come up this back angle on them. And we can go ahead and just triple speed it, no big deal. Just in case we do need more, let's just go ahead and bring these archers up. We can always put some fire on them at need. Hmm. Our cavalry spins is in position and our infantry is getting there. Let's just go ahead and keep advancing them. <sighs> Alrighty, almost there. I'm just going to go ahead and have these guys line up right here and have these two behind it. No point in getting too bunched up and tiring everyone out all at once. In the meantime, we can get some close-ups on their units while our guys are getting up here. They have some hoplit, let's see, Ectromech, Ectromoy hoplites. I like these guys when I play as Pergamon. They're super, super light hoplites, but they're still not terrible, and they're cheap, and they can hold a battle line for her at least a minute or two for you. So they, uh, super great garrison troops. They're way cheaper than any comparable infantry I can field, at least about half as cheap. I guess half as expensive, twice as cheap would be the correct way of saying that, but whatever. Who's keeping track? Just generals should just be getting slaughtered over here against my spearmen. And they definitely are. That was not the uh, best advised move this guy ever made. But it will be one of the last. Oh, let's see if we can watch him die. Oh, well, just him and a few friends left, so he should die any second now. His horse is certainly getting stabbed enough. <clears throat> <sighs> it always cracks me up how long the generals when I'm up staying alive in this game. He must have a ton of hit points. But hey, it's getting you some close-ups, so... Not the worst thing that's ever happened. There we go. Alrighty. 
You guys are winded, so let's just go ahead and leapfrog these guys forward. Just go ahead and run up there if you would. Get our flanking cavalry ready to toss some javelins in once they charge. And if it lets us with the pathfinding, we will toss our javelins before charging on this side as well. So I might just go ahead and get these guys lined up just for that. What are you guys doing? Okay, fine. Whatever. Stay there. You guys toss your javelins. Maybe? Maybe? Ah, oh, whatever, just charge. You guys stay. Alright, guys, let's get up here. What are you doing? Being confused? Yep. Of course. It's what you do. They're pretty cool looking, too. I like these guys. Simple, but cool looking. I've got my Prodromoy Cavalry, my Light Lancers. Let's have them toss some javelins in the backs, shall we? Bam! That is wreaking havoc. That's what I like to see. Holy moly. Alright, let's... Just for kicks and goes, let's give them a charge now. They're pretty much all dead. We lost a decent amount of our Thrakti, probably more from our own javelins than from enemy spears, but no biggie. <clears throat> I love the little masks they wear. It's pretty cool looking. Charge these guys. They should be all that's left between us and the city. Alrighty. Tavion is ours. At least I think that's a city we took. Could be wrong. Well, I didn't check, but hopefully we'll cover at least a few casualties from those Thrakti there. I'm not going to send them back to retrain at this point. Either way, that'd just be silly, but I'd like them at full strength, considering we're not very heavy on infantry in this army. <sighs> Ooh, I forgot to skip that loading screen, but no biggie. And it was Tavian. And definitely depopulate. We can use the money. And otherwise, we're going to have no chance in hell at keeping hit that city happy. Oh, I'm going to kill that. This is uh, Galatia, if anyone is curious. So, even though it's in Asia Minor, it's going to be a. Uh, local uh, Gallic troops and barbarian buildings and all that. Pergam had an elite army base here. Let's kill that and get some more money. So there we go. We've actually got a little money to spend this turn now. Going to get some tribal justice queued up there. They've already got the real community control, but I don't think they've started... Um, yeah, great. They don't have any population measures grown, so this is going to be a lot easier to control than it might have been. And I don't want to send them out alone, but I do want to get a watchtower set up here. So let's give them a, an escort. 
I'll just bring my cavalry with me. Kind of creep out this way. We're going to go around because I don't want to get ambushed just in case. Probably being paranoid, but it doesn't hurt either. I've had stranger things happen. So there we go. Now we can actually see most of our new province here. Ew, oh, wow. Well, another province that has no roads whatsoever. We'll have to fix that. I don't know why the computer doesn't like to build those, but hey. Who knows? <sighs> Alright, now I am going to go ahead and save it here before ending the turn. Because if I end the turn, I'm probably going to get attacked and have at least one or two battles. And this video will never end, so... Go ahead and make another save here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again soon with episode 20. And, uh, yeah, that's all.